Delegates from across the world have come to the ITU headquarters here in Geneva, Switzerland, to discuss, among other issues, the upcoming World Telecommunications Development Conference to be held in Hyderabad, India. Now, this is no small event. Information and communication technology is not just any old industry. It's become an indispensable infrastructure and a key to economic development. The decisions taken in Hyderabad will pave the way for future policy in telecommunications. Naturally, in every conference like this, after four years, we have to restructure the programs, we have to change some of the working methods we do, but uh, really concentrating in some concrete action is, is the aim uh, and the hope that this conference will come up with, uh, with, with a clear, tangible, bankable projects, some realistic actions, and not just to talk about general ideas of the international cooperation because this is already done and our membership agree on that. The regional groups have already hashed out what they want to see on the table at Hyderabad. Greater drive towards internet connectivity and broadband rollout, cyber security and help with the sometimes complicated switchover from analogue to digital TV. These are important questions, but one of the main issues on the table at Hyderabad will be how to help those markets that are just now opening up to competition in the telecom sector. Do it wrong and telecoms are only available to those with pockets deep enough to pay for them. Do it right and telecoms can serve the needs of countries, communities and consumers rather than just the interests of the telecom companies themselves. Whatever a regulatory authority has been put in place with a good regulatory environment, we've seen competition and growth. This is behind the growth we've seen in the mobile sector. We need to extrapolate that into internet growth and broadband so that we can really meet, uh, reap all the benefits of the knowledge society that we're entering in, in. We are now in the information society and it's driven only by good regulatory environment. The discussions in Hyderabad will make a difference. Fast and reliable information and communication technology is vital for economic development, especially in a world where what you know is important, but when you know it is more important still.